Shout out to all the VIP members watching this full interview on day one. If you're not a VIP and you waited a full year to watch, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a member for just $2.99 a month. And if you haven't subscribed, you already know what to do. Enjoy the interview. <laughs> What was the song for you that you put out that made you, because I know, I know you were, I think you said, uh, was it Meet the Connect that kind of like, they kind of really believed, believed in, in you. Me. Yeah. 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 Um, what was it, what was it about you? Because I'm pretty sure they be looking at it like he's not, he don't really have music out there. What was it that made them believe in you so much? Um, I don't know personally, like you told me as far as Meet the Connect. Yeah. He just kind of knew me, like you heard, because he was he was been with Gino on him, okay. which is um, if you know um, you know Fabio on them nigga man, right? So, like them niggas was freeing me on songs, like Fabio was freeing me on a lot of songs. You know what I'm saying? That he was shooting the videos for, so he kind of already like mm. had an idea of me. So when he came home, when I came home, and I had put a song out, when I had put the song out. He liked it. It's called Burke. Yeah. And he already knew, like, yo, bro, like, I want to do the video free. He like, yo, bro, let's do the video. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I ain't have no videos out at this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He like, yo, bro, let's do the video. I want to do the video to this song, which it never came out, though, unfortunately. But yeah, he was just like, yo, let's, let's, let's do it. Like, he was just always like, yo, bro, you nice, bro. Like, for the little music that I did put out, like, because he was hearing certain shit because he'd be with Gino, so I'd have shit recorded, unreleased shit that he'd hear, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. was like, nah, that nigga Drizzy is nice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he knew it, like, because it was a whole bunch of us rapping, and he always felt like, nah, it's him, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's how, that's why I felt like he believed in me. You gotcha, know what I'm saying? gotcha. Yeah. The whole time I'm, I'm kind of watching, and I'm like, <clears throat> you're doing numbers yeah. on you know what I'm saying was there ever labels that were reaching out at that time or no nah my boy really no labels that's crazy to me I don't know what it is niggas is blackballing me boy <laughs> it's so crazy cause I'm I'm like I've seen people get labels reaching out to them off less mm -hmm. so I just instantly thought yo I right, he, he maybe he turned down a label or maybe would you have been willing to sign at that time hell yeah yeah yeah, man. Cause in some of your music, you be saying I ain't, I ain't. I know I just dude. be talking shit. I be cause I be cause I got money, so you know. I mean, I feel like you gotta come correct, but at the end of the day, what I'm doing to get this bread is like it's not something I want to be doing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. But at the end of the day, labels do gotta come correct though. Like, but at them points when I was buzzing, I would have signed. I would have mm. signed damn near anything, man. Gotcha. Be honest with you. 